Let's get into it. Members of parliament from the Jubilee Coalition say that the opposition is misleading Kenyans on a new security law. The legislators maintain that the law was carefully amended before being approved by parliament and that it does not infringe on the Bill of Rights. The Jubilee lawmakers want Kenyans to read the new law carefully before taking sides on it and have argued that it will help secure the country against external and internal threats. If the Coalition for Reform and Democracy make good their threat to go to court, then the new Security Laws Amendment Act is about to get its first litmus test. But the Jubilee Coalition is warning Kenyans to be wary. It was very important for us as a country to put the blame where it is. We cannot continue asking the President to act with individuals who hold positions with security of tenure. Unless we tighten the law so that we can stop criminals and terrorists, there is no way law-abiding citizens can enjoy their right to freedom, their right to life, and enjoy the provisions of our Constitution. Though it carries much of the tone set by the drafters of the bill in the first stage, the new law went through a series of amendments that settled some of the concerns raised by various stakeholders. <coughs> Part of the anti-terror strategies in the new law are that a national counter-terrorism center will be set up to coordinate security efforts. Public officials found guilty of issuing ID cards irregularly can get up to 15-year jail terms. A person whose premise is found harboring weapons may face up to 30 years in prison. A person promoting ideology based on violence for political, religious, or social change may be jailed for 14 years. A person who publishes or broadcasts insulting, threatening, or inciting material, images of dead or injured persons likely to cause fear, or information that undermines national security can be fined 5 million shillings or face three years in jail or both. The number of refugees and asylum seekers is pinned at a maximum of 150,000 and refugees will not be allowed to leave their camps. On anti-stripping measures, anyone found guilty of forcibly stripping another person is liable to a minimum of 10 years in prison. The provision to give intelligence agencies powers to intercept phone conversation without a court order was dropped. On the issue of detaining terror suspects for more than 24 hours, a police officer would have to justify the case in court before he gets a court order to do so. Yes. It has come out very the Law Society of Kenya, however, argues that the new act is still unconstitutional and plans to challenge it in court this week. First, on the issue of the process, the process was wrong, was unconstitutional, there was no public consultation. Secondly, the process in the, sta in the in, in National Assembly was also wrong because there was clear violation of the standing orders. Observers are warning that the divisions emerging over this new law are not healthy for the nation and that Parliament should consider future amendments to the Act. The nation is likely to remain divided. and on the strength of a law that does not seem to serve the interests of the people, the execution of that bad law would therefore, moving forward, give room for further amendments, at least when there will be public uh, hue and cry against it. We should be seeing a very strong border security arrangement. It's not in that bill. We should be seeing better coordination between the county governments and the national government on matters of security. It's not in that bill. We should be seeing better uh, coordination between the two the agencies of, within the police, the uh, administration of police and the police. That, that's not in that bill. But more than anything, this new law has revealed a new side of the president. Could he have heeded to this advice from political scientist Mutahi Nguni when we interviewed him last month? When people love you, they control you. But when they don't, when they fear you, you control them. Right now, the people are controlling Uhuru because they love him and he is enjoying the love too much. That's why he's getting irritated. What he should do is just abandon the love and say, what? I'm going to do what I need to do. Its intent 
is one. Just one. With President Uhuru Kenyatta having put his foot down over the new law, the focus now shifts to the judiciary that could be left arbitrating the differences over the law. Ashamwilu, KTN, Nairobi.